Try this trick if you want to vaporize any drum loop in Serum 2. So in Serum 2, there is obviously a really great granulator, and I love using it for all sorts of different things. But what would it sound like, though, if we dropped a drum into it? Well, let's go ahead and find out. So I've dropped in this drum loop. Let's go ahead and play it back and see what it sounds like. Sounds pretty awesome, but you know, I kind of want it to be a little bit more, how we say, vaporized. So let's go ahead and put this in forward loop mode. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this LFO. Uh, I'm gonna put it in uh, Chris Lauren style, or sorry, Chaos Lauren's. I don't know why I said Chris. And let's go ahead and start doing some modulation to it. Let's play around with the density. As you can see there, we're really, really stretching out this sound. Let's go ahead and drop in some effects into the group. And I'm gonna try out with Vintage Chorus. Let's play around with the pitch as well and see what happens. Let's also mess around with the random amount, just a tad for taste. Now let's go ahead and try out what happens if we were to arpeggiate this. So I'm just gonna sh uh, shift the arpeggiator up to about this amount. And let's make sure that we got everything locked in. As you can see there, it's actually arpeggiating, but we need to do some editing to the envelopes and the filter specifically. So I'm gonna drop in envelope two over here. and start playing it a little bit with this scan amount. And bring this down over here, just a little bit. Bring this back down to where we had it before. Actually, let's keep it up right around here. Then let's go back to the ARP and try some different patterns and see what happens. And I also want to add one more uh, compressor over here that can just sort of glue all of this together. Bring that. Let's also mess around with the repeats and the chants. And let's play around with some of these other settings just to see what happens. And let's also add in a little bit of delay and we'll be set for a very unique drum pattern which I've never personally heard before. So there you have it. That's how you can play around with Serum 2 and get some really interesting drum patterns from the go using an original drum loop. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, be sure to watch more.